Okay, you know what, you know what, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. I, I hate as a teacher to reward bad behavior, but uh, I, will I will respond to your question, miss, if you want to listen to me. Miss, excuse me, I will respond to your question. I believe it was about Omar Khader. Um, the f so sorry, if, if you will not, are you done? Thank you. Okay, uh, no, no. And I will come back to you. Okay. I'll come back to you. Um, the, the, the anger uh, that some people feel, and that a lot of people feel, uh, about the payment the government made uh, to Omar Khadr uh, is real. And quite frankly, this might surprise you, but I share that anger and frustration. That is money that we could have put towards any number of good programs, of things that would have made a difference in people's lives, uh, but instead, uh, we had to uh, settle uh, a court case and the fact that if we had extended that court case it was uh, almost certainly uh, going to cost us in the realm of 30 or 40 million dollars is a bit of a consolation but that's not the way to think of this. The way to think of this is first of all that settlement had nothing to do with what Omar Khadr might have or might not have done. It had to do with what the Canadian government did or did not do. And when a Canadian government, when a Canadian government willfully turns its back on defending a Canadian's rights and allows a Canadian uh, to be tortured and mistreated, we all end up paying. That is the lesson. So, Ma'am, I want you to continue to be angry. I want all of you to continue to be angry and frustrated that a Canadian government had uh, to make that settlement and take it as a lesson that in the future, no Canadian government should ever think it's okay to allow a Canadian, no matter how unpopular they may be, to be tortured. That is not how we do things in Canada. So don't let any future government do what past governments did.